Hello and welcome to Retech and today we're going to cover a storage device. I've covered these storage devices before um, and the reason why I'm doing it now is because it's a new version of a device that I covered a little while ago and um, the maker of these has been kind enough to send me one and really it wasn't um, for an evaluation or to put on this channel but because that I like these devices so much they are really really good devices they had good quality they work well um i've decided to actually try and cover this again on this channel but kind of in a slightly different way because what we're going to do is we're going to have snip a little bit of a look at the previous devices but also this brand new device so what we're going to do first is have a quick look at the models or some of the models that um, this company does and this company is we make robots and basically they make uh, max duino style devices for classic machines such as zx spectrums and so on and my previous ones have been such as the msx device which is really good because if you've got an msx you'll know that it's kind of quite slow loading software and so on and these really do make a lot of difference now the next device was the acorn um electron and so on and it's um it works really really well and it's a nice device it's nice and clean i like the color of this one as well and the other device which is one of my favorites um this for a spectrum and as you can see it sits on the side of a spectrum plus and it kind of looks really neat it's bolted on the side it looks like really it could have been there from the beginning and it's really really well done and it's one of my favorite devices because it's always on the side of the machine i don't really have to do a lot with it now since then there's been an upgraded model um and it's one that's basically powered from your machine itself um, rather than having separate cables like this one but basically it's, it's almost the same and it works fantastically well and this one again is powered by a, a standard USB charger basically and all of these devices are kind of powered by standard USB chargers and the design of them is very neat the design of them um, especially on the spectrum plus models fits in massively well there's been a lot of thought behind the actual design of the casings and the way they work so with that kind of in mind we were now going to look at a slightly different model and this model well it's very orange um and it's nice actually it's nice it does stand out a lot and you can see the the model on the machine itself so you can see the model here the model tag max duino and it says ultimate edition so it's a max duino ultimate edition and what makes this one so good well what makes this one so good is the fact that it's a it's kind of styled like the others okay and it kind of fills the family very very well the the biggest advantage of this okay is that it will do a lot of formats it's basically all of the models i've showed you combined and more so it will do dragon and auric and virtually all of the kind of 8-bit micros that were out there at the time and it's all on one little device and all you really need to do is just swap your sd card out as well and again it's very well done it's powered by usb and it works exactly the same in principle and in use as the other models and again there's been quite a bit of thought behind it because they are using a nice kind of line throughout all of these models so they all fit the same kind of spec and the same mold but if you have multiple machines um, such as 
um, an Acorn, an MSX, or even a BBC Micro, or a ZX Spectrum, or a Plus, and you want one device that will allow you to load programs from different micros and different machines just simply by having it stored on an SD card, separate one if you wish, and um, all in one little nice package, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to have a quick reminder of what this device actually works like. This is the drive itself. It's um, very nicely put together. So I bring it close to the camera. You can see some nice detailing on the case with the MSX logo. And also it has some nice cassette record or cassette tape detailing here. You have your USB connector for your power and you also have your two sockets to connect it to your MSX computer via the cassette lead. Okay, so it's a cassette replacement. Okay, and on the front you have a little slot for your SD card, your micro SD card. How do you get your data onto it? Well, the easy bit really is use a modern computer. And on a modern Windows PC, all you need to do is copy your LZH files, which are the ones here, and you just drop it, drag and drop them onto your SD card. And it's as simple as that. If you have items that need to be unpacked, such as this Bomberman disk image, then uncompress it first. And that's as easy as it gets. There's no messing about. There's no messing with extra software or anything like that with a Windows PC, you just drop it straight on. Now back to the machine itself, the all, all you have to do is connect your cassette lead uh, into the unit itself. And the only addition you have to have is a standard USB charger or USB PowerPoint. Okay, once you have your USB PowerPoint, all you need to do is plug it in and you'll get a nice MSX screen and then you all you do is you get your volume and again navigating the volume is really simple you just flick up and down on these buttons and then once you've navigated to the program you want all you have to do is load it in the normal way and then press play on this device so that's as simple as it gets. So let's see how it works. So the first thing I'm going to use is use that Donkey Kong file. So we have to run the cassette file or the CAS file. Okay, and then all you do then is you take your MSX emulated tape drive, which is here. And what you do is you select Donkey Kong. Then once you press return on the MSX, you, all you do is press the play button here. Now it's playing and you should see it start to load the game or whichever file you want it loading. There we go, found Kong. And there we have it, one successful loading of Donkey Kong. And because it's a very capable device. Um, it's something that I think every user of classic micros, especially the 8-bit range, should be really looking towards getting and maybe, maybe replacing some of the, you know, the separate modules that they have at the moment. One neat solution for multiple machines. If you um, get a chance, jump on their website, the link's below. Have a look, have a search. Um, also, if you go to my website, the link's below as well. I'm going to put them on there as well. And basically, it's well worth the investment for a single unit for most of your micros. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you'll uh, keep on watching. And I hope you subscribe because there's more to come. Thank you. <laughs>